Hey guys, got another game unboxing today. Um, I'm guessing this is uh, the Sonic game that I ordered, so let's um, unbox it and see. I do have a lot of stuff in the mail, but um, I think this is the only game I've got at the moment um, on the way, so it should be that. Yeah, it is. Packaging is a bit weird. So um, let me just uh, talk about the game quickly before before I unbox it. I just want to say something about it. Um, so um, Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing Transformed. This is second in the series. The first one uh, was just Sonic uh, and Sega Racing. Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing. Um, it's basically a kart racer similar to Mario Kart. Um, if any of you have played that, which is probably the most popular game worldwide um, in this kind of genre. So. It's good to uh, compare it with that. Um, I've always been, I've always had the thought that when I play Mario Kart, it's it's never quite felt fast enough for me. It always feels like just a bit slow, and that's why I've never really been a huge Mario Kart fan. I've got to say the new one on Wii U does look amazing though. But um, I've always been a huge fan of kart races. I I prefer them to realistic races. I very rarely buy a realistic. Uh, driving simulator. I'm always a big fan of um, kart racing and probably my favorite kart racing games of all time are the Crash Crash Bandicoot kart racing games. They're just they've got the speed right, the level designs are, are great, the the weapons and the tracks, the enemies, it's just and the cars, you know, it's just it's done really really well. And I never got the first one in the series for this, but uh, I downloaded the demo for it and I downloaded the demo for this one back when they both came out and I loved both of them. I really, really wanted to get them, but it was just down to the fact that there was too many big games coming out at the time, and I, I would, I just didn't want to pay, you know, the full forty pound for this one as as long as I had another game when this one was going to go on the shelf and wait, you know. So I, I thought I'd wait a while, and then Pete Dore actually uploaded the video the other day of him playing, playing um the first one I think he was playing or was it Transform? Yeah, I think he was playing the first one showing some of his tracks on his Let's Play and it just got me really in the mood for it and I just couldn't shake it out of my head so I picked this one up finally and we'll unbox it now. Got it for the PlayStation 3 because I'm probably not going to go... I will be playing my Xbox 360 um, you know in the future but I probably won't ever go online again with it. Um, I'll probably just be sticking to next gen consoles um, and the PlayStation 3 because um, there's not really any games for the 360 coming out that I want to go online with that I can't get on the PlayStation 3 and there's still a lot of games that I've got for the PlayStation 3 that I want to clear out but there are some games that I've got on my shelf that I've not played for the 360 that are you know single player games that I want to get through Anyway, this is the front cover. It's got a really nice um, design there. The um, it says limited edition, but it's really not because it's not limited at all. I see it everywhere. Um, it's the Sonic's car is like a really kind of metallic uh, blue. There, it's quite cool. Uh, this is the back. Just pretty standard stuff. Uh, Spain, nice colourful writing. So inside you've got a really nice disc there, you've got Sonic Racing. But I like the way they've done that with uh, Sonic just racing in the car now as if he's came from the boat to the plane to the car, you know, it's really cool. Hopefully we'll get a coloured manual. Um, at the back here, game add-on content. Um, that is a limited, edi limited edition includes... Sorry, let me just read this out in the light. Exclusive Outrun by Track... Ghost Challenge and Time Trials, exclusive Metal Sonic and Trans Transforming Vehicle plus Metal Sonic Mad Pack, exclusive uh, stickers for your in-game license. Right, well, I don't know what any of that stuff means, but that's what you get there, and then there'll be like a code in the back that you'll um, just redeem in the PlayStation Store or the or Xbox Live Marketplace. Um, here's the book. It's actually really thin. Just one of those little black and white ones, so nothing worth looking at there. 
but yeah thanks for watching guys um if any of you guys are going to be on this and you are on my friends list definitely hit me up because um i really can't wait to play this game online and uh see what some of them cool tracks are the 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 track i really want to play is from my i think in this one there's one from the the second the second stage in sonic the hedgehog 2 that that metal kind of I can't remember the actual name of it, but it's my favourite Sonic stage of all time. The metal one with like the purple water. I think there's actually a racing track designed around that in this, uh, in this one. Uh, so I really want to play on that. It looks cool. And the the ones that Pedo is showing off those Samba the Amigo levels, they look really cool as well. So I'll be wanting to try them out. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.